it's Hillary. Type nine on the Enneagram, your Enneagram coach. I wanted to say welcome back to my channel, but if I'm being honest, I'm the one that's been gone. I think it's been three months, maybe longer since I last recorded. I had kind of a crazy summer. I had a lot going on. And as a type nine, when I get overwhelmed, I stop doing the hard things and I do the easy things. And I know this about myself. I'm an Enneagram coach. And so that's kind of what happened. Just a lot of crazy things this summer, a lot of good things. And I just took a break. So anyways, I am back. And today we're gonna kind of talk about how I became an Enneagram coach, what that looks like, what is, what is it, right? And so I kind of want to dig deep into that. I have so many questions about some of these things I'm going to talk about. And so I thought it'd be easier for me to just do a video on it. And so I have my coffee, I'm comfy, I'm just sitting here and I'm going to kind of discuss a little bit of my journey and how I became a life coach, certified life coach, a certified Enneagram coach and um, what that looks like in my, in my house. And so the funny thing is, is um, to start out with, got my coffee and it's in a, I don't know if you could see Hawaii. Hawaii mug. I'm dreaming of Hawaii, clearly. But I'm sitting here drinking this coffee and honestly, I'm starting to sweat because I live in Arizona and it is probably 100 degrees today already. Um, it's morning right now and so it's probably already 100. It's probably going to be 110 today. So I think it's kind of, I was kind of like, what am I doing drinking coffee? And it's so hot and I'm going to do a video where there's lights and camera and but Oh well, I need my coffee. It's gonna be fine. So if you start to see me sweat, you'll know why. <laughs> Moving on, um, how did I become an Enneagram coach? How did I even learn about the Enneagram? And that actually goes back, I don't even know, let's just probably like eight to 10 years is ago is when I first heard about the Enneagram. I've always been super obsessed with trying to figure myself out. Um, I had kind of a hard childhood and I have, I have a lot of things that I never had answers for. And there was a lot of whys, why did they do this? And, or, and why did I have to go through the things I did? And so I've always had that, that need in me to know the why. I already knew about strength finders and the 16 personalities and, and the disc and those, all those personality tests. I already knew about them. I loved them, but I didn't feel like those told me uh, about the why. I felt like those kind of made me just feel good about myself. Um, so fast forward to I'm living in Alaska during this time. If you've been on my website, I wrote a little bit about this and I kind of was having an, an identity crisis and I found myself just in the most beautiful place in the whole world to me, but dealing with stuff inside that was actually not beautiful and it felt ugly and it felt ugh. And so really I found myself at the right place at the right time. I happened to be at um, my pastor and his wife's house during, doing a Bible study. And they had this, this guy had come to the church and taught their staff about the Enneagram. And that night he came to the, um, the small group and I was there and he ended up typing me and it, you know, I, I came up a type nine. And I literally had never read something so spot on to how I'm feeling on the inside. And to me, it helped me feel, it helped me understand myself better and understand why I showed up to things like I did, why I did things the way I did, because really it was like, what motivates me? What's my fears? What's my desires? Those are what motivate us in life. Honestly, I felt for the first time ever, I understood myself and I could understand other people around me. It helped me so much develop such a love and a grace for other people because I begin to um, give permission for others to show up and be who they are. And it helped me to not expect other people to show up as a type nine and help me to not live so offended all the time. And so I don't know if that helps anybody, um, but it helped me. So that's where I kind of first heard about it. And that's where I started researching it, reading everything I can get my hands on and um, really saturating myself in it. And so that happened in Alaska. And then we ended up moving to North Dakota and then to Arizona. So once I was in Arizona, I went to school to become a certified life coach, got, my, got certified, and then ended up realizing that all this research and 
history I had with the Enneagram would really work well with my life coaching practice. And so I merged them and I took Beth McCord's, um, she's the yourenneagramcoach.com um, lady. I don't know why I said .com lady, but that's her website. I took her course to get certified in becoming an Enneagram coach because I didn't think it was enough for me to just coach others with what I knew. I wanted a certification. That's probably my one wing, um, who knows, but it was important to me at the time to be certified, to actually know what I was talking about so that I can help others find that freedom um, to be who they're meant to be and um, grow and understand and have um, some things answered for them. So that is what I ended up doing. All right, so in a nutshell, that's kind of how I became an Enneagram coach. Um, the next part of who I am, I'm married. I'll have been married 20 years in October to my husband who is a type eight, the challenger. <laughs> and I have to say like um, knowing his type has helped our marriage beyond what you can even imagine. And knowing my, him knowing my type has helped him. Like. I can't tell you guys how important it is to know each other to that level. And because I feel it's so important, him and I are going to sit in front of the camera coming up probably in the next week, week and a half. And we are going to do a marriage Enneagram set or session here on YouTube. So him and I type nine married to a type eight. So that is coming. And I have two boys. Um, one will be 19 this month and he's a type three. Uh, my achiever. He's the one that got his pilot's license this summer. And um, yeah, that, that says it all, right? And then my other son is uh, 16, 16, yeah. And he is a type five. He is an investigator. And let me just tell you, I will be teaching on parenting with the Enneagram um, coming up too. But what I want to say is, is just a little blip of it has helped me be a better mom. I can't stress enough. Understanding the type five for a six, for my 16 year old boy, our relationship is so much stronger than I think it would have been because I just wouldn't have understood him. And then also my type three, it has helped me realize how much encouragement he needs every day and, um, and, and so much and how, um, even though he doesn't appear super heartfelt and sensitive, like he's one of the most heartfelt and sensitive guys. And in my type five, um, he needs a lot of alone time to, and really for him, he gets overstimulated very easily. Therefore, he needs a quiet, dark place to kind of, uh, I, I like to say it's like plugging in to recharge. And so I give him that space and um, I don't know. So those are just the little ways that I have learned to parent better because parenting is hard and it did not come with a manual. I like to joke, I signed up to have a baby who knew they were gonna grow to be 18 and 16. And I mean, you know what I'm saying though, I'm just joking, but holy Hannah, most of the time I did not know what I was doing. So anyways, that is a little bit about me and what I do and I got it in this video because it's way too long, but it was so fun kind of sitting in front of you again and doing this video. So I hope you like it. Please leave me a thumbs up if you like it. Those are so important. And also subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. That would mean the world to me. And thanks so much for watching guys. Bye.